Where was the one where they warped? This one, right? Uh, oh, can I do this one now? Is it allowed? Yeah, okay, this opened up then. Okay, what more is there to do here? It's kind of annoying when they don't instantly send you there. Like, you have to figure out that it's open. Because, like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Sigma. It's after 0230. I guess we're not going to be injected with the drugs. The game is over. There's no more reason to make us sleep. Akane will come back. Right? Actually, does this mean the whole facility is open like in VLR? I wonder if it is. We could explore around, maybe find out about the twins' birthday. Uh, if she doesn't, then we'll be stuck here. Um, Sigma? Do you want to try again? Try what? Turning on the transporter. It's pointless. We've tried a bunch of times already. We did everything we could, but it's still as dead as a doornail. Once a transmutation has occurred, it takes roughly ten months to recharge. Mm, that's right, okay. That limits it though, it means we can't go crazy with it, can't use it a bunch of times. So, what should we do for now? Granted, you could argue each different timeline has its own month period, so even if we use it in this timeline, another timeline somebody else could use it, potentially. Oh. I checked out the counter at the bar. Uh, seems like we're good on food for a while. How long will it last? With frugal eating, we'll have enough for nine, no, ten months. Just enough to make another, another jump! Yay! That long? I did say frugally, didn't I? My calculations are based on half a can a day. You remembered to include Gab. Right? He's just a dog. He doesn't get to eat. Of course. There's no way I could abandon him. Is that because Kyle's consciousness is in Gap? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Let's rest for now. We'll figure things out when we wake up. At least it's nice knowing you won't forget everything. What is it? That's right, they could use this bomb. They're not going to get punished anymore, are they? They could use this bomb to explore around, maybe try to find the, the hint to the twins, whatever. Yeah. Does something seem different about this now? Like what? I thought there were balls inside here. Maybe it was your imagination? Can they not use the bomb now? Has it been deactivated? Oh. Maybe it was only active in the one timeline. Maybe. Oh god. Eat. Uh, uh, Starlog. Day 13. Food is, uh, running scarcer quicker than we thought. Turns out Diana eats way more than I imagined. And also, the dog eats way more than I imagined. It's kind of unfair that I have to eat less, but it feels like the right thing to do. Fuck me. Oh. I'm not hungry. Just do it. Oh, yep, Gab's eating. That's a good boy, Gab. Who's that good boy? Or girl? No, it's probably a boy. Who names their female dog Gab? Oh, they're seeing all the old places. Well, I knew you'd be in here. Or you shot my brains out. I, I actually don't really like this room. I would figure. But when I'm here, I feel like there's a chance I could remember. Do you mean Phi? How did you... <laughs> I feel the same. For some reason... I can see her face when I come here. Do you know what this is? Oh. Hey, that's Fi's brooch. 
Why do you have it? I don't know. It was in my pocket for some reason. Maybe it's Back to the Future style. She doesn't exist because you never had her. Ooh, I don't know. Oh. Fi's safe, right? <sighs> I truly wish that's true. He's losing it. Why are you doing this to us? You can hear me, can't you, Zero? I know you're hiding somewhere, just watching us. You could at least tell us why. Zero! Zero! For the evils! Going up. Yep, all the rooms. This was the room. This was where it happened. This wasn't even on the map, though, was it? The door isn't on the map. The room is. Which means there might be a secret way to connect between C and Q, as well as Q and D. Maybe even C and D. Although I don't think so. I don't think they're directly connected, but maybe. Uh, this is a bit of a nice montage. <laughs> I wonder how long it's been now. It's kind of like them getting to know each other in a way. Um, so Diana, you know, has reason for being with Sigma in VLR. Granted, this ending probably doesn't lead into VLR, but because she has time jumping it, she could potentially use this consciousness in VLR, so it would make some sense, I guess. Two weeks. You kept track? I've been marking the wall. Oh. This is nostalgic. It's so peaceful. This was my first puzzle room. Really? Does that sound weird? There's no war here. No violent murders, no rapes. No innocent children being abducted. Don't get Monokuma on me. Uh, it's all going on in the outside world, though. Don't act like this is better. But at least this way, we don't have to know about it. That's why it's peaceful. No horrible bosses, no annoying drama between co-workers. You don't have to worry about seeing how happy your friends are on social media. But you also don't get to play video games, and that is a crime worse than death. Like, I have a new boyfriend, or my child just turned one. Look at all this amazing food I ate at this gorgeous restaurant. I got tired of seeing it. So you're zero. <laughs> it's all just like this. Yup, there it is. That's. Do you know Materlinx, the blue bird? This is a music box using it as a motif. What is it? Yeah, that's got to be trippy for Sigma. Because I'm sure, as his young self, after this game happens, he already has that bird for some reason, right? I think by that point she's already given it to him? Or maybe she gives it to him then, and then he gives it to Luna. So, I mean, it's a bit trippy now finally coming so far in life. And it's like, oh, now this is when you give it to me. Okay, alright, about time. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, oh, uh, nothing. So, what about it is the same? You know how, in the end, the bird was in Tiltil and Mithil's home all along? Spoilers! They traveled all across the world in search of it. This feels similar. In other words, the answer to how to get out is right in front of us all along? I guess... I mean to say... Happiness is closer than you think. In this shelter? Yes. I'm sorry, Diana, but your interpretation is wrong. 
In the original work, the bluebird escapes the cage and flies away. Happiness will slip through your fingers the moment you believe you have it. It's implying that the process of dreaming is true happiness. Well, you just ruined my dream then. <laughs> Touche. I like this a lot. I like this scene. Um, like, this feels more like it would be appropriate to potentially lead into VLR. Again, the pieces aren't quite in place, but when they are in place, things felt more forced. This feels natural. I could naturally see, after this, Diana being like, okay, I will, I'm willing to work with him for three years, but... Again, it's possible through time jumping, and it did say Circle of Fate 1, so maybe it's possible that it still somehow works out, but we'll see. Sorry. You won't disappear, will you? Sigma? He just died of old age. Oops. Game over. Oh wait, no. I'm living through her body, so it's not a game over. Alright, we're all good. And then, finally something? What, has it been ten months now? Not gonna eat it? Oh, cold. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sick of only eating this crap that tastes like dog food. Oh, and suddenly you want to get out, is that it? Well, I guess he did ruin your dream, huh? Oh. Diana. At least the dog likes it. We've been trapped in here for a month now. What in the world is Akane doing? Well, it's possible she can't get back in here. It's, it may be Zero won't let her. Or she's a fucking crazy bitch who doesn't care about anything now that Jopa is dead. There's that too. It's possible that she doesn't remember anything about it. I'm sure she still had the bracelet on when she left here. And if so, then there's a chance that Zero injected her again so she'd for... No, that's not it. Akane... Akane betrayed us! I'd buy that. She murdered Carlos and Junpei, and abandoned us just to escape on her own. Maybe Carlos voted for Q-Team because she manipulated him into doing it. It was actually Junpei who did that, but I'd buy that. <laughs> Diana, what's gotten into you all of a sudden? Half a month ago, you were happy, saying it was peaceful. That was then. This is now. Has something changed? No. Nothing's changed. Not a single thing. That's why I'm annoyed. Wow. Okay. So now we're seeing some interesting sides of her personality. Yesterday, today, it's all the same. Same scenery, the same can. And that's why sometimes... Violence can be a good thing. That I mean, I'm violent. Okay, it's never good to wish for bad things, but if nothing bad ever happened, it was always good. It'd be hard to recognize what even constitutes good. So it's never good to wish for bad, and it's always good to try to stop bad. But if there's no bad, then what is good? Kind of. Nah. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Ugh, it's all Rebecca's fault. She was the head nurse. Ugh, she was the one to suggest I join this experiment. This could be important. I'm not so sure you should be blaming her. You had another reason for signing up for the experiment, didn't you? We got interrupted, though. You're single now, but Diana, you were married before, weren't you? Oh! <sighs> yes. But why do you know that? How old is she? Because Sigma's, uh, 22 at this point, right? So, um, how old is she if she was married before? Ugh. When you were married, your husband often resorted to beating you. Oh. He was an alcoholic and recently unemployed. He screwed up at work, garnering a large debt, if I recall correctly. When the two of you dated, 
He came across as serious and kind, but no longer. He drank to his eyeballs, was always gambling, and would laugh while he kicked and punched you. For no reason. That was his true face. Of course you left him. But even after the divorce, he persisted in following you around. He'd ask you for money, sex, and if you said no, he beat you black and blue. He's even stopped by the hospital cafeteria. You were having lunch with a co-worker of yours. He showed up out of the blue, screaming his head off and flipped the table. Every time he went off on you, he'd always end with, I love you. I love you so much, Diana. And weep. Oh, those are the worst kinds. His pain called out to you. And you'd always find yourself caving in. In order to cut all contact with him, you figured the only way it'd work would be to seclude yourself. I see. That's when Rebecca brought it up. I see. Oh, I feel bad for Diana. But yeah, those are the worst types. They do as much abusive and bad shit, but then afterwards they apologize. I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. But you know, never can come a lot sooner than you think sometimes, so maybe after the first or second time, you might want to stop forgiving them. I heard about a job at an experiment facility called DECOM, so you- Stop! Stop it! What is the meaning of this? Why do you know? Would you believe me if I said I heard it from you? Ow! Well, I guess Sigma had something coming. I don't know if it was that, but I would definitely be freaked out if I was Diana, so a flinch reaction like that makes sense. Stop playing around. Oh, it's a gam, it's a cutie. Oh, next scene, I guess. Wow. You should probably stop now. Drinking? Can't you leave me alone? Oh, she's a drunkard. Hey, what are you doing? You're not acting like yourself. You're the super weird one here. Ugh. It's been a whole month and a half. How can you be so calm about all this? I... I have some experience with this kind of thing. Stop talking your nonsense. Give it back! No. I said give it back! Oh, and then they kiss. And then they make out, right? Hey! Look what you did! Aw. No make out? Hey, stop! Ugh! Yeah, that's getting really bad. <laughs> Oh, she's laughing about it. Yeah, she's drunk. <laughs> You're so silly. You thought I was serious? Like, I'd actually like that? Diana, you're... I can't take it anymore! I'm so sick of this! You could take Gap for a walk? Sleep with me? You mean like in the same bed, or do you mean like uh, with our clothes off? Do you... hate me? Of course not. Then... sleep with me. Eh, I kinda hate anyone when they're drunk. At least in my opinion. Come on, hurry! A bit fast. Wanna kiss first? Oh. I see. You don't have the balls, coward! Then, how about... Won't you kill me? Please. 
kill me. What are you saying? Did you get Radical six divide? I'd rather be killed by someone now than wait to die wasting away in this- Oh, now she gets the slap. Just- Oh, that's great. I hate interrupting this awesome scene, but oh, I love everything about this scene. Cut it out. Wait, where are you going? Yeah, don't joke about killing yourself, because that's a serious problem for some people. Oh man, how long is this going to go on for? It's great, but when is it going to end? What's it going to climax with? Oh, this is the climax song. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Forgive me, Diana. I could see how you felt. I knew you were crying out for help. But not once did I offer a hand. Until you slapped her in the face. I couldn't. If we got too close, then... I felt like something would shatter. Yeah, you can't get too close too soon or you could break reality. But you're not in that timeline, so fuck it. Just fuck her. Why not? You said the shelter was peaceful. That happiness could be found here. I knew you were putting on a brave face. In reality... The one who believed what you said was me. It's just like you said. I'm not brave. I'm a coward and a wimp. Deep down inside, I was scared of change. I didn't... I didn't want to lose you. Like that time. I'm so sorry, Sigma. I... I... Do they kiss? Oh! They actually get giggity! Nice! Oh. Oh, that's so good. Do they actually like, oh, are they getting down and dirty? Are they doing the sex? <gasps> they are! That's awesome! Of course, we don't get to see it, but I mean, that's fine. But still, knowing that they're actually doing it, oh, that's cool. We don't need no more fan fiction. Well, I guess we do, but, you know, to actually see it, but that's eh, okay. Use your minds. It's better without anyways. Oh, why'd you put your clothes back on? I have a dream. I wanted to see Sigma's beefcake. You want to go to the moon, right? You've been obsessed with it since you were a kid. Because Luna... Even your name, Diana, comes from the goddess of the moon. I was not aware of that. I knew about the Luna thing, but I didn't know about the Diana thing. Neat. Hey, Sigma. Can you tell me now why you know so much about me? Uh, I've lived with you for three years. And we kind of sort of just conceived five, maybe, maybe, maybe. So I know almost everything about you. Huh? It's not your fault you don't understand. I'm talking about the future. But this history doesn't mean it's an extension of that one. It's a different one. Okay, so hypothetically, let's say right now we're uh, on this knee. If you continue on the path, you'll only reach the end of the right toes. 
You'll never go to the left ones. I was just talking about the left leg path. <laughs> Sorry. I started talking nonsense again. Sigma? Are you really from the future? Like, really, really for reals? <laughs> uh, that was actually a pretty good description he gave to a non-believer. A pr pretty simple way of putting it. I like it. You believe me? Yeah. I do. That sounded like a yes to a marriage proposal to me! I beat you to the punch, Jupe! I think... It rather makes the dream better. Ha. <laughs> oh, I get that. Yeah. But it's still going. Three months later. Wow. Way more than three days later. That was with Eric's ending. I... need to tell you something. Sigma. I... may be... Pregnant?! It's Phi. She's in there. You're in there, little Phi, aren't you? I see you! 11, 16, 20, That's... 11, 16. Let me do the math. That's November 16th. And they got put in there on December, which means it's been 11 months now, right? Because they got put in there on, on the end of December. And the end of December goes to the end of October. That would be 10 months. Which means by now it's been 10 and a half. So their food is run out, pretty much. So they're going to die soon? They have twins! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! My mind is blowing up right now! The password is the name of their twins! But wait, does that mean Phi has a twin? Is it Kyle? No, maybe. Maybe? No. Would that make sense? I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, you did amazing, Diana. It's a healthy boy. The boy first, but there's going to be a girl as well. Interesting. But 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 wait. So so wait. Uh, um so okay, I, I, here's what's going to happen. And you know this is going to happen. He's going to name them after his kids from the future, right? He's going to name one of them Kyle and one of them Phi. He's going to name them Kyle because Kyle's the one he ends up creating in the future, probably. And he's going to name the other one Phi because of Phi, and she's dead now, right? But plot twist, Phi is the real Phi. I don't know what's going to happen with the real Kyle. Maybe the Kyle's consciousness from the future jumps back into this baby? Maybe? Oh, this is getting crazy. Oh, oh, God. Wait, hold on. Something... There's a girl in here, too! Wow, closest I've gotten to a birth, <laughs> to childbirth, to helping out. They're aged though, so they just got born, so zero, right? Cute. They're so cute. Name them. Yes. Name them. Who'd have thought you'd have fraternal twins? You didn't realize? Well, I did have a hunch. That makes sense, fraternal. Well, they have to be fraternal if they're boy and girl. If they're boy and boy or girl and girl, they can potentially not be fraternal. But if they're boy and girl, they have to be fraternal. But I couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter, as I'm just glad you gave birth safely. Even in a place like this. That's cool. It's all because of you, Sigma. <laughs> Thank you. Stop. I didn't do anything. You... gave me your food? Look at the black under his eyes. As soon as you knew, I was pregnant. Oh, he's gotta be starving by now then. You were the one who did all the work. Thank you, truly. I couldn't be more proud. You know how people claim unconditional love? I hated that phrase. Me too. I thought it was a lie. 
I thought there's no way something like that exists. Well, I'm a selfish bastard. Every time I help someone, in the back of my mind, I'm expecting recompense. Whether it be gratitude, praise, or for a higher power to approve of me. But now, I know. There really is such a thing as unconditional love in this world. Well, that's what they say. Having kids makes everything, uh, makes you closer. There's no doubt in my mind that I'd give my life for them. Not for gratitude or praise. I don't believe in God, so it's not for God either. Atheism for the win! I need nothing in return. I don't care if I fade away. I just want them to be safe. And to survive. That's all I ask. The dog gets to say hi, say hi yeah. to the twins? Listen to me. Oh, that's cute. You know that biscuit I just gave you? Give it back! That was the last one. Oh. There's nothing else left. Oh no, Gab. Thanks for everything. Good boy. We've gone through so much pain. You always listened to me when I vented to you. You saved me many times. So... Thank you. Maybe I'll call one of the kids Gab. The boy. Diana, I want to show you something. Follow me. This makes sense because she has the pendant for some reason. She doesn't know how and she ended up with herself. But if she gives it to Fi... Oh my gosh. Orders turned on. Yeah. <gasps> I came by earlier and noticed it. They're gonna use it on the kids? Send them back in time. If Phi goes back in time, that's how she could be around the same age as Sigma. But what about the other one? Oh man. I don't know. We'll find out. It appears to be completely charged. Sigma, don't tell me. That's right. I'm transporting these two. What? Don't worry. Transporting them doesn't mean they'll disappear. <laughs> their original bodies stay behind after their scan. Then... Are you going to say it's pointless? We're out of food. If we simply do nothing... They'll die. You understand? They'll never gotten a chance to live and they'll die. Yeah, makes sense. I'm sure you remember. But it'll take another ten months to recharge. So, you're saying... This would be the last time we can use it then? Which means... We can't stay with them. I know. Each pod must only hold one body with it. Two or more people cannot go into a single pod. Where do we send them? Not the future. It's too dangerous. Then... I wonder if he's put the dots together yet, that, that, that he's giving birth to Phi. Um, I'm really curious though about the other one. There's no point to send them to the near future. Sometime before Zero obtains this device, they'll have to go before the year 2009. That makes sense, yeah. Did you think of a name? What about you? Remember? We promised. I'd name him if it was a boy. And you would if it was a girl. Then we'll start with the boy. Sigma, your name is...
was from the Greek letter Sigma, right? So, I thought, why don't we name our son Delta? <gasps> oh! Oh! That's cute! Right? Wait, maybe? If they could have been sent to different time periods. Q is Phi's twin, right? Because it's triangle. And the, um, what was it? The pathway, the pathway that led into the, the Mexican standoff where everybody had a weapon pointed at each other. That pathway was called triangle. And at the end, you're supposed to, like, uh, you have to input Q's real name. What if that's it? Maybe that's why we haven't been able to see under the mask yet. Because he's going to look a lot like Phi and Sigma, probably. Oh. My first initial is D. That's actually funny to think of. The reveal in VLR, who's under the mask? Oh, it's Sigma. The reveal in, VL in this game, who's under the mask? Oh, it's Sigma again, kind of, in a way. That'd be funny. Oh. And then to connect that D to a Greek letter... Delta? I like it. What about the girl? Well, oddly enough, I was considering a Greek letter too. I want to use the one that means the most to me. <gasps> Is it? Phi. I'd like to name our daughter after her. But that is her! Oh, I love it! This has to be true. There's no way it's not true. I'm just unsure about if I'm right about my Q theory now. Oh. Phi. I think it's perfect. It's a wonderful name. And that would be by why Q lost his memories. Because Kyle just jumped into him, right? Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Oh. gonna leave the pendant with Phi? We gave them their names. They have to know what they are. It wouldn't be right if someone changed them, would it? Yeah. Well, that's... Two trinkets. One with Phi, and they're gonna leave one with Q, aren't they? Oh. Phi's brooch. You're sending it with her? Yes. And Delta, I want to give him this. So he gets the bluebird? And somehow it's going to come back to... Wait, oh, I just had a creepy thought. What if Delta... Or is the name of, or, or, or whatever, is the name of the guy she was dating. Maybe he gave her the blue bird. Ew, that would be creepy. Ew, I hope that's not true. The blue bird music box. Are you ready? Let's begin. So that's the two items, Bluebird and Music Box. Or no, Bluebird and Brooch. Or Music Box and Brooch? Whatever. Credits? Perfect timing. I actually kind of have to stop here. But also, that scene was awesome. That whole thing, that was amazing. Um, that's the kind of scene you want in a game, 
but you don't know if it's actually going to happen. I'm fairly confident now that I'm right about Phi being Phi. I'll be shocked if it's not. Uh, they could pull some kind of twist upon a twist, but props to the guy who came up with that theory. I don't know who it was. I read it on some way back when, after I beat VLR, I was curious about Phi, because they said they left some hints, so I thought, oh, maybe I'll look up if anybody else had theories about that. So I went on like some forum, like ZTD prediction forum, um, and I saw some theories. That was one of them, and that really intrigued me, and I'm like, that would make sense. I like that one. <laughs> props to that guy. You were totally fucking right. But there's a twin! That's what's really interesting to me. Um, I'm going to wait on that one. I'll start by going to the other timeline. Uh, well, actually, I can go to two now. I can go to the one with either in uh, input the two things that were left behind, or I could go to the twins' age, because they're supposed to be just zero, right? Unless I add their age of how old they, how, how old they are now. Whatever the case is, I have to end here. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Zero Time Dilemma Blind. Until then, I still have an outro phrase. This whole thing was amazing. I'm really excited to see where we're going to go from here. Um, but yeah, that was just a really good way of showing us how, the, how they got there. That, that, that was amazing. Um, I can't say that enough. Um, but yeah, I'm very curious where it's going to go now, but I have to stop for now. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, oh boy, twins. Ooh, this is getting good. This is getting good. Oh, it's getting crazy and good. See you guys next time. Bye. Yep, a silver lining. Die ending too. That makes sense. Oh. That's the best ending yet, for sure. I like the Mira ending, don't get me wrong, but that's definitely the best ending. Way better than, than the other Diana ending, the, the VLR one. That one kind of sucked, but that one's great. Ooh.